Hello everyone, and welcome back to my colonization series in Kerbal Space Program 0.25. In this episode, I hope to bring my colony control center down to the surface and also uh, see if I can maneuver it around the surface so that uh, we can know whether the little uh, tug that I've got on the surface is capable of moving the colony modules around properly. Uh, but as you can see, the first thing I've got here for you is the pumpkin. I wasn't able to make the pumpkin any larger than the orange in terms of its central body size because I've got limited diameter here. So uh, it's, it's got the same basic uh, central shape, but as you can see, it's got some other features. First of all, a lot more lighting. A lot more lighting. An extra reaction wheel on the bottom in addition to the one on the top. Um, it's got, uh, well, most importantly, it's got the Rockamax 487S's instead of the 2477's and so it's got more thrust and also more ISP so more fuel efficiency it's also got actual tanks on these things and hopefully uh, the way I've placed it means that there won't be any rotation but um, I think we need to uh, test this out I need to make sure that the systems are okay when I was connecting the Rockamax 2477s directly to the girder I didn't need fuel lines but it turns out I need fuel lines for this version. So let me see if all that works. And also, I want to check that the RCS ports work out properly now that I've placed them on the outriggers instead of on the body itself. That looks good. Okay, so... Yep, let's, uh, let's try this out. Uh, nighttime is good. I want to test it out at nighttime. That's exactly the right idea. Okay, so we've got those things going out. The engine pods. Let's see. We can tell by the delta V where they're at their best. So right there, 4,773 is where they're at their best. Okay, let me uh, check out RCS. Okay, well, uh, hmm. Oh, it's because the throttle's on, right? Okay, and like that. Looks good to me. Okay, I'm not going to want to release the launch, clamp, launch clamps just yet. Let's, uh, that looks great actually. Let's fire the engines. It flexes the things up a bit. I wonder if that's part of the problem. I think I might want to do this in full gravity. So that's how we're going to do it. I'm going to wait until my current acceleration is above gravity. The curved surface of the procedural tank made it hard to even get the solar panels on any semblance of correctly, but uh, uh, somehow I think uh, the lopsidedness of the solar panels sort of makes the pumpkin's grin a little bit more menacing. Okay, I think we're good to go with... Uh... Okay, well, let's have it clear the launch clamps, at least. Well, it doesn't seem to be spinning. We do have to sort of make sure that it touches down in some safe location. And right now, it'll hit the edge of this. I don't want to uh, try to land it on the launch pad since the launch clamps are there. Let's take RCS off. Make sure it doesn't spin without that. It could be just the atmosphere though. Maybe the atmosphere is creating drag that is uh, preventing it from spinning. I mean, we can turn off gravity with the cheats, but uh, we can't turn off the atmosphere. 
so that's sort of interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah, da, da, da. Wow, this thing is a little bit too maneuverable for me. Okay, well, uh, interesting. Uh, docking port barely holding us. Let's recover quickly. Okay, so on the test of the pumpkin, we got 98% of the value back, which is good enough. It's fine. Uh, at least we know it works. Now, I'm not going to uh, send the pumpkin over to the moon just yet, because everybody told me how to get the normal functions out of MechJeb. I decided that uh, maybe I can just use the orange, the super orange for now. Uh, so we'll deal with the spinning part. And well, let's just see because uh, all we need to do is get the colony control center down. So what I need to do is head over to the Super Orange, which is uh, Super... Oh, uh, that, that must be the tug, actually. This is the real Super Orange. And then we need to transfer the Super Orange over to the station so it can grab fuel and then it can bring the Colony Control Center down. Alright, so here we go. First thing I need to do is rendezvous. And, yep, it looks like we can probably get pretty close just uh, going from our nodes. Let's see. Okay, point 0.6 sounds good. Okay, so 73 is a breeze. Oh, where is our base? Uh, our, our base is coming into the light side. Okay, good. Excellent. That's what we want to see. Okay. Which makes it even better that we're not uh, trying to launch out of Kerbin because then we'd waste six hours, right? because uh, uh, six hours of uh, base daylight time. One thing we have to do after we get the Colony Control Center down is science. We need to get RTGs desperately. Because otherwise we can't power the base. Well, we can power the base because there are Colony Control Modules, uh, not, uh, not con Colony Modules that could help us uh, power the base. But uh, power the lighting on the base which would surround the base not the lighting wouldn't be part of the core modules we could probably wire it up somehow using Kerbal attachment system but I would like the lighting system to be somewhat autonomous okay here we go there's that spin which reminds me let's bring up smart ASS and there we go surf up oh. I went too far. Closest approach distance, tiny. Okay. Okay, stop spinning. See, now, <laughs> this is going to annoy me because I don't want the this display to uh, disappear every five seconds. So, that is a little bit uh, tedious, but okay. All right, uh, let's rendezvous with our station. It's actually just 25 uh, kilometers away. <laughs> okay, far did that thing where it's being weird and decided to randomly pop up again. That's good. Okay, well we can go to that now. Uh, no, relative velocity. Ah, same thing, good. That's always best. Retracting the outriggers would actually get in the way of the docking port, so we can't actually do that. We could probably fold them the other direction, but probably best just to keep it as is. Whoa, 
whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Whew. Okay. Ah, these things are a lot more maneuverable. The problem with uh, switching from realism overhaul to this is that I keep forgetting how strong some of the uh, reaction wheels and S, uh, RCS is. Much stronger than uh, after they've been modified by realism overhaul. Okay, but we're docked up. Yep, and transferring fuel. Okay, all full. Let's go grab the Colony Control Center. Okay, I'm gonna go for this sort of orbit. We'll see how it works out. Gotta keep an eye on electric charge as well. Obviously the Super Orange spins more without its load than once it's got uh, load on it. Ah, separation 0.0. .0. I do like to see that. All right. Hmm, very stuttery. I wonder if FAR is going to pop up soon. Between the stutters, the frame rate is like 30, but uh, it's, uh, it's very strange. This, uh, that means that some mod is trying to make calculations, is basically what's happening. Right now my frame rate is 22, 23, 24, according to fraps. But in between the parts where the graphics are rendering, some mod is trying to make a calculation. Okay. Or maybe the game itself is trying to make physics calculations, I don't know. Okay, so, yep, let's make this rendezvous. Ah, that's too far, but that's alright. Close enough. Ah, far popped up. Very interesting. There is a slightly newer update to FAR than the one I've got installed here. I might have to try that. Whoa. Oh, uh, maybe this is just the magnetism. Huh. Hey, I'm mistaking the... Yeah, I think that was just the docking port magnetism. Oh! CLS installed true, and therefore I get all this stuff. Okay. Alright, let's separate it from the stage. Pretty heavy thing to bring down to the surface. But we've got enough Delta V. Alright. So next thing, we need to target our... Yep. Uh, Rover Alpha is probably the wrong thing to target, actually. We don't want to go over to that side. Yeah, the Carbonite Miner is a better place. Now, we have a little bit more of a problem, though. Because it's going to be a while before our current orbit actually hits it properly. Chances are we're going to have to do another inclination change. Even Haystack plugin wouldn't help me when it comes to actually getting a maneuver node. I don't know, does Precise Node let you create a maneuver node? 
I know it lets you tweak them, but I forget if it lets you create one. And the, the big problem I have is creating maneuver nodes. I don't really need to. Uh, <laughs> I know exactly how to turn this. Um, yeah, I guess I don't need to. Lots of spinning though. Okay, well. I think I'll do further adjustments as we get closer. Sorry for the lack of commentary. Obviously, precision landing stuff going on here. I'm sure there are other people who could do this better than I do, but but I'm the only one here. Well, no points to not getting the landing legs out. Yep. The landing gear that will be used for moving it around will deploy only when we're ready to cart it, but uh, that's definitely not for landing like this. Hmm, probably misjudged this. Let's go to 35. Okay, so this is not ideal by any stretch of the imagination and probably worse than any of the other super orange landings I've tried. So, as long as everything doesn't die horribly, that will be a plus. You can see a very high view of our our complex so far. We're yeah, we're definitely falling short. Gonna go eighty and pitch eighty five. Wow, lag is happening. Uh oh. We've got serious lag happening. Um, hold on, I'm gonna have to pause game. It's less than one frame per second. Huh. Well, this is a problem. We've got serious lag right when I don't need it. What should we do? I can see my uh, my CPU usage. Nothing else is going on. It's just something up here. Oh boy. Okay, so uh, sudden slowdown in frame rates to uh, crawl and crash is a somewhat new one for me. Uh, not a new one in general, of course, uh, that does happen, but uh, just a new one in terms of uh, crash modes that I've seen. Uh, hold on there. 60. So we're uh, starting out again a little bit higher than previously. And perhaps I should take that into account. And two sixty should be fine. Okay. Oh fudge, we've got the lag again. It's the same time. No matter what I do, I, once I hit this point, I hit game crippling lag. 
this is a problem. Okay, we have a problem. So, I thought that it was because th there was no ref in the in the output log, and I thought that was uh, it was because we were uh, hitting something as we got within physics range of uh, this stuff. However, uh, we are now getting all sorts of problems earlier before we reach physics range. And uh, it is saying that uh, our orbit is not a number. Let me, I mean, uh, it, the output log is getting a whole lot of uh, not a number. I've, I've replaced FAR with uh, newer version, the newest uh, release. And I want to... There is a problem. Okay, so for those keeping track, I have now reverted back to uh, FAR 14.2. So I started at FAR 14.3. I went to FAR 14.3.2, uh, and now I am at 14.2. Uh, so right now we have uh, 18 meters, uh, I mean 18 uh, frames per second and uh, I have to try and make a landing. If this doesn't work, I'm going to abort to orbit uh, if this survives. Right now I've been, just been loading the persistent file. I haven't been uh, uh, doing anything too fancy. In other words, I haven't been loading uh, quick save or anything like that because I don't quick save. Uh, I've just been loading the persistent file. Given our other concerns, I'm not actually paying too much attention to where this is actually ending up. <laughs> as long as that ends up outside of this crater. Okay, uh, here we are. Where in previous attempts, the game slowed down to a crawl. Yes, it still happens. It's some sort of null ref. Okay, so I don't know how to fix this right now, so it's abort to orbit time while we can still control this properly. Okay, uh... Properly might be, uh... A little bit more complicated than that. Okay, we've gone until we get within three kilometers of that stuff there. Okay, pitch 45 should do. So yeah, for some reason upgrading to FAR 14.3.2 actually made the situation worse. I had a, uh, it basically freeze for, oh, well this is bad, uh, okay. Basically freeze. So, oh wow. I think we're going to have to deploy the pumpkin. This is just not working out very well at all. At least we're passing over that trouble site. We're going to have to figure out uh, which vessel is causing the problem. And it must be a particular vessel that's got an issue, I hope. That way we can just uh, eliminate the vessel and move on. But anyway, uh, we can't uh, afford to lose this. this Colony Control Center costs quite a lot, and I can't risk it. And I haven't selected an alternate landing location yet. We need to find some place with carbonite. So that'll take some time if uh, we want to land it somewhere else and establish our colony nearby instead of right at that location. Definitely need to deploy the pumpkin. 
so after this, the order of operations is first check out which vehicle might be causing the issue down at that site. Second, uh, launch the pumpkin. And if we have time, third, and we probably won't have time judging by my clock here. Uh, after that, uh, the first uh, thing to do in the next episode is to do some science. We need uh, much more science to unlock some technologies that we desperately need. But uh, also in the next episode, uh, we'll try and find another location. If, if we can't find which vessel is causing the problem, we'll try and find another location in which to set up our base using our satellite in orbit to find carbonite. And then we'll uh, use the pumpkin to bring the colony control center down. Good thing nobody's in the colony control center right now, otherwise they'll be having a heck of a ride. Okay, abort to orbit was successful. We'll need to refuel stuff, but uh, for now let's just leave it be and check out using the tracking station which vessel might have been causing the null ref that uh, led to the frame rate issue. Uh, it's no good. They're all so close together that uh, they're all within physics range of each other, of course. Um, I have no... I, I can't control this quickly enough to get away from from the other two possibilities. I don't know which one is going to be the one that's causing the problem. I doubt this one is. It was made more recently. Hmm. Well, we've got a new carbonite miner, so let's let's make the carbonite miner the main candidate, and I'm just going to eliminate it in the tracking station and see what happens. Okay, so as much as I hate the waste of funds, I'm going to start by eliminating carbonite miner alpha as the first candidate possibly causing a problem. <sighs> nope. Uh, looking at focused on our tug. It isn't. It isn't the. It wasn't the carbonite miner that we just eliminated for no reason. Okay, so no, even uh, this part of our base is messed up. As you can see, I'm trying to turn the view, and it's not working out. It seems like maybe it's been. Maybe it's because of my attempt to upgrade to 0.25, though I could have sworn this part was all right. But now it isn't. So I'm going to have to think about this. Okay, so that was all a fiasco, and it looks like we're going to have to find a new location for our moon base uh, far away from the glitchy old base parts so we've basically lost all the funds involved there we'll have to find some way of rescuing the Kerbals there though I can't see how I'm I'm loath to uh, go back to previous versions or anything like that uh, obviously the logical thing to do would be to revert to my point two four point two save which is uh, still in its proper install and uh, just continue from there I'll, I'd like some uh, some word about uh, what you think I should do, but for now let's uh, let's launch the pumpkin since uh, this is I am uh, doing this in Halloween and I want to see this launch. So no, not like that. And so the dawn launch of the pumpkin to lunar orbit. SAS is on, throttle is up, and we're going to have to try and make sure we're pretty close to the prograde vector, otherwise we're going to flip out, I have to remember that, but here we go. It's a really low mass for this rocket, so I think I can throttle down just a bit. Okay, I'm handing it over to Smart ASS.
Now I'm going to be very careful about how I do this. Let's uh, see if FAR has any problems. Now, this is now the downgraded FAR. This is FAR 14.2, so maybe that'll have an effect. I don't know if FAR was really causing the problem with the base, but uh, it was throwing up a lot of errors. So, there was def definitely something wrong there. It's possible that Kerbal Attachment System was also to blame. I saw some of... Uh, some errors related to that as well, though it's not entirely clear. Far fewer errors. Ultimately there was no ref, but I don't know what the cause was. Okay, well, uh, looks like this launch went fine. I don't know whether it's because I downgraded far. Probably because I'm just using Smart ASS. At some point I should uh, just try controlling it myself and see what happens, but I don't know. Well, we have orbit. Let's see about this uh, whole moon transfer thing. Okay, that looks uh, like our moon rendezvous. We may jettison this stage. Okay, that looks like... Uh, the pumpkin is at its maximum. Yeah, a very creepy sort of ignition to those engines. All right. We may proceed to the moon. Okay, here we are, Moonar Sphere of Influence. Coming in, up, electric charge depleting. We're on the dark side, unfortunately. Let's turn off the lights, perhaps. We'll sneak up on the moon, if you will. Okay, well, this jittery thing... Let me disable the torque on this reaction wheel. Let's say I go to prograde. It's still a little bit jittery. It pauses every five, you know, every little tick. I'll just uh, leave both reaction wheels operational. But no, it's even worse that way. Hmm, it's very strange. Okay, but retro burn time. Still a slight spin, though not as bad as with the with the orange. Okay, we're. We're a little bit far from our periapsis, so I'll wait. Yeah, not as bad as the orange. Okay, that's fine. Nice tight orbit around the moon. So, let's get this thing oriented in a better fashion. No, no, no. There we go. So at least something uh, turned out reasonably well. Bit of a flickering light thing going there, but hey. All right, so I'll, I'll copy this save into another test folder, and I'll see what we can be, what we, what can be done about this whole thing, what we can do, and other than that, uh, if you have any thoughts, uh, please do contribute them. So we've basically got a null ref situation at the base, 
and uh, we already eliminated one craft that could have been causing it and it wasn't that and it looks like there's actually more than one possibility since uh, the emergency hab area has an issue as well as uh, the rover I'm not entirely sure it seems like it might be related to an old the old version of Kerbal attachment system that those were using maybe that's what's causing that though we have separate issues with FAR the which uh, cropped up when I tried to upgrade it and so that upgrade caused this made the situation even worse so there's something going on there uh, probably what I'm gonna have to do is find a different base location for now and we'll set up shop somewhere else it's a bit of a shame but uh, what can you do and uh, other than that I think uh, at least we've got the pumpkin in orbit and it looks successful it doesn't spin as much as the orange does and it's got the same sort of delta V characteristics it looks a little bit more interesting and so uh, with that uh, happy Halloween of course uh, thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time